Hey there, so you've been running social ads uh, on platforms like Facebook and Instagram for a while and it seems like you either not get many leads or the ones you do aren't that serious. So it's a common issue and a lot of clinics have been through the same situation. Some might even throw in the towel and claiming social ads just don't work. In general, most marketing plans do not fail in intent or philosophy or communication. They fail in execution. People simply don't get it done right. So in today's episode, we're going to dive in the reason why your social ads might not be hitting the mark and then choosing the only five-step full funnel strategy that could be a game changer for your ad campaign. And by the end of this episode, you have a solid framework to boost your social ads game. Welcome to another episode of the Online Marketing for Doctors TV and Postcard Show, the place to be to grow and scale your practice. I'm Vin Chung, a strategic marketing consultant for medical clinics. My team and I have been in the game for over a decade, having hundreds of clinics thrive with our proven patient generation campaigns. Let's break it down. Unlike platforms like Google, social media users behave differently. They are not actively hunting for solutions. Instead, they are there to be entertained and to be educated. And this is precisely why many clinics struggle with social ads, expecting prospects to book appointments based solely on the simple ads they saw on social media. With OMB's social media marketing strategy, a full funnel approach, we're here to guide your potential patient journey from brand awareness to consideration, conversion, and even loyalty and advocacy after they become a client or patient at your clinic. It's a holistic strategy that goes beyond the typical social media approach. So stick around and let's get your social ads working like never before. Now, the first stage is building brand awareness. Picture this for a moment. Your target audience is scrolling through their social media uh, news feeds, right? Encountering some attention-grabbing ads. Uh, the creatives and offers might pick their interest, but here's the catch. They don't know you yet. The likelihood of them taking action on your ads, uh, call to action, is pretty slim. Unless you are well-established, big brand or have an irresistible offer. And in the area of medical marketing, it's tricky to come up with a price-driven offer without risking the perception of cheapening your brand. Now, let's zoom into the first phase of the patient journey. This is where potential patients become aware of their needs or problems and actively seek information. To kickstart this journey, we launch a brand awareness campaign on social media. Users get a chance to delve into who your clinic is, your experience, the entire team, the patient before and after care, past work examples, and what makes your procedure stand out. Now, media mentions or accreditation help build up prospects' confidence for the consideration stage. We also roll out ads promoting the clinic's lead magnets, such as ebooks, videos, if you run a hair transplant clinic marketing campaign, lead magnet could be a bonus calculator or to capture prospect contact information for follow-up in nurturing and sales email campaigns. Educational content takes center stage. Blog posts, webinar, ebooks, and videos are pushed out to enlighten prospects about the procedures and associated costs. In this campaign, our sites are set on cold traffic, those who haven't crossed paths with the clinic yet, focusing on prospects based on the lookalike audience and the clinic's past patient, database profile, website visitors, and the ideal person that the clinic's target audience profile. Now, the second stage is the brand consideration. By this stage, prospects have done their research and are aware of their options, narrowing down their choices. We target users who have engaged with the brand awareness campaign ads and who have visited the client's website under the format of remarketing campaign, offering them an initial food into the door such as free initial consultation offer, outline what they will have in the consultation and answering possibly uh, frequently asked questions. And in this stage, we continuously showcase more patient results and their feedback with the procedures. Now, the third stage, conversion. 
in the next stage, your prospective patient or client is ready to make a purchase or booking. We understand that prospects usually talk to their selective clinics before making the decision. After a prospect take the first step in engaging with the clinic by signing up for the free initial consultation offer, we continue to push out ads about factors that will make prospects feel more comfortable about proceeding with the procedure. This includes expected uh, results, other patients' feedback about the before and after procedure experience and aftercare processes, and follow-up appointments to review the result after 3 months, 6 months, and 12 months. Pricing details, including payment plan options, are highlighted to allow easy access to the procedure without compromising their lifestyles. Now, the next stage is the customer loyalty. In this stage, if your patients or um, client have made this far, then you're definitely doing a lot of things right. But it's not over yet. This is the stage where you should have a system and access in place to make customer lives easier by uh, being engaging and being involved. Constantly look out for their wants and anticipated needs. For this stage, we seek their feedback by pushing out ads about leaving the clinic some reviews and introducing other relevant procedures. For example, if your core procedure is hair transplant, other complementary services could be um, eyebrow transplant, beard transplant, jawline sculpting, hair laser removal, fillers, and anti wrinkle injections. This complementary service enhances and maintain their looks, helping the clinics cost sell and upsell to generate more revenue and maintain the relationship than, than just rely solely on one-off procedures and potentially losing the patient or client forever. Now the next stage is brand advocacy. It's far easier and roughly five times cheaper to retain an existing customer than it is to acquire a new one. Once you gain someone's trust in their businesses, you should be working hard to maintain it. Following up with your patient or client to get their feedback on the offering that they purchased from you is a necessity. For this stage, we push out ads and that encourage patients to share their experiences not just with the clinic but also with their friends and family members. This could include lifestyle photos and videos showcase the results, for example. Uh, for a chance one, that could be a flaunting, that full head of hair, enjoying life and newfound confidence. We also encourage patients to refer clinic to their friends and family members by offering both a special voucher for the next treatment. This makes it easier for uh, existing patients to refer the clinic um, um, to their contacts and it's, it's an opportunity for them to try other services that the clinic offers and have communicated with them via the brand loyalty stage. Now in conclusion, retaining existing patient or clients is more cost effective than acquiring new ones. By maintaining patient trust and engagement, all of these strategic approach ensures continuous and positive relationship with patient and contributes to the growth and success of the clinic. Okay, that's wrap this up for this episode. If this was helpful to you, please subscribe to Omni TV and podcast show so you don't miss any future episodes. And please share this episode with your staff and colleagues. Now, if you want to learn more about online marketing for doctors offers and how our team can help you generate more new patients and referring doctors via Facebook, Instagram, advertising, or even TikTok advertising, please reach out to us and book a 15 minutes discovery call and we will show you all these problems and opportunity that you might have with your current marketing campaign. And we'll leave the link to it in the show note below. So thank you so much for listening today and I hope to talk to you soon in our discovery call. Bye for now.